everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a fall makeup look for you. I filmed one of these last year and I thought I would do an updated version for this year for you. But before I get started, if you are new to my channel, I am so, 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 so close to 100 subscribers and I would love for you to join my little family. I film all kinds of videos, vlogs, fashion, beauty, lifestyle, whatever a girl of my age is kind of going through. Um, so I'd love it if you could could subscribe and make my little family a little bit larger because I love you all and also if I hit 100 subscribers there will be a giveaway just a bit of an incentive for you there's only 100 of you so you've got a better chance of winning to be honest anyway <laughs> let's stop rambling and let's start my full makeup look to start with I have changed up my foundation so this is a new foundation that I've been using for the last month or so that I'm going to tell you about because I love it but it does not have SPF in it so I'm starting off with the Vitamin E Moisture Protect Emulsion I also get that which has got SPF 30 in it because it is important to protect your sun against protect your skin against the sun <laughs> um, even in the winter time because the sun is still there even though it's not hot in fact it's freezing cold second thing I put on is my Benefit Professional just to give my foundation a lovely base to stick to and it makes my foundation last all day. So I just take a little bit on my finger, I rub my two, I don't know what these fingers are called, <laughs> together <laughs> and I dab it around my face just to spread it out and then just rub it in. And once all that's rubbed in, go and wipe your hands on a towel. I'm using my pyjama bottoms. Um, otherwise, holding your brushes is quite difficult. So the next thing is foundation. And the foundation that I have been using for the last month or so is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. It is a powder foundation. Um, I wanted to try something new. I was after the, what's it? The Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and the lady on the counter was not very helpful and quite rude in my opinion. So I spotted the benefit stuff and I know people have been talking about it and it's good, it's good for your skin, so I thought I'd give it a go. So what I do is I just tap out a little bit of the powder into the cap, I don't know if you can see it, just a little bit into the cap and I take my Real Techniques buffing brush. <laughs> um, I just swirl it around in the cap to pick up the powder and then in circular motion I just buff it onto my skin and I was not convinced with this foundation when because I went in looking for a liquid high coverage matte foundation and benefit and benefit and Bare Minerals said they do not have a matte liquid foundation but they do have powder um, so she proceeded to test it on me and I fell in love because it does not feel like you are wearing anything on your skin but yet it covers which is pretty amazing in my book. What I do is I just tap a little bit out at a time just so I haven't got loads in my in here that clogs up my brush and loads in here when I'm finished and I don't need any more and it just gets wasted. So I'll just do that all over my face. foundation is very buildable and again it feels like I've got nothing on my skin which is lovely and since I've started wearing this foundation I've noticed that my skin is a million times better it doesn't get super oily anymore it just feels so much nicer and as you can see I did have like a red spot here and a bit of redness around here and on my cheeks and that's completely gone now so it does cover which was one of my main things about it I thought well that isn't gonna cover anything because it's powder it's not liquid but anyway from there, we are taking the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I should probably put this on before my powder, but I always forget I'm putting it after. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that under my eyes. And then take another Real Techniques brush, which is the contour brush, and just blend that in. There is a concealer to go with that foundation, but I haven't yet purchased it. But this is just as good in my opinion. 
base is done. So the next thing that I move on to is my eyes and for the winter time I love a good smoky eye um, and I'm using the Tanya Burr Cosmetics palette in the Enchanted, Enchanted Dreams. So I start by taking Moonlit Walk which is a shimmery champagne colour on a big fluffy eyeshadow brush and I take that all over my lid just like a base start colour. I really like this palette because I think that the browns in it are quite warm toned so they are lovely for winter. I just stick that on there. And it's so dry. Oh dear. Right. So once we've turned that, I take just a little eyeshadow brush. I don't know where this is from. Just an eyeshadow brush. And I take Coco Palm, which is a shimmery brown shade. And I put that on the outer corner to like two thirds of the way across my lid. shade which is magic carpet down here which is a darker shade in the palette and I just kind of dip my brush like the very very end of my brush in just so I got a little little bit of it and I just kind of draw it in a v-shape on the outer, outer corner of my eye and I also take a little bit of it through the crease which at the moment looks pretty scary and a bit like what on earth have you just done? That does not look very good. But we need to blend it. Then I take my fluffy brush again and we just blend it in. Don't press on very hard, just keep working the eyeshadow until it all melts together. And I would always start off with a little and add because you cannot take it away really once it's on there. So I just want to add a little bit more there, a tiny bit more there, and we'll blend it in again. That is the eyes done and now we are moving on to the rest of my face. I'm going to start with Hula Bronzer, which I've hit pan on, which I'm not impressed about. Um, just take a tiny bit of that on this Real Techniques blush brush and I'm taking it into essentially where my contour would be. I'm not a big contourer, my face is too chubby for that. <laughs> um, but I just take it around the natural places where the sun would hit and where I'll get a bit of a off-white colour, <laughs> or as most people call it, a tan. <laughs> um, just to give my face a little bit of colour and a bit of dimension. And even for the fairest of the fair like me, Hula Bronza works and isn't too dark as long as you don't put it on too heavily. And I'm taking my blusher, which is a body shop blush in the shade 03. It's just a nice pink shimmery shade. I'm very into pink cheeks. And again, I hit pan on this as well. Not impressed. And I just take that onto the apples of my cheeks up towards my temples. If I'm looking down a lot, it's because I'm using a mirror. Otherwise, I would not be able to see what on earth I was doing. And I'd probably look like a bit of a clown. Well, you might think I look like a clown anyway, but not intentionally. <laughs> um, yes, so then we are moving on to brows. And recently I picked up a new Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 1. And also a Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. Benefit's eyebrow products I think are best. <laughs> 
Main reason is because with me being so fair, I find it, and also ginger, not brown or blonde, I find it so, so difficult to get a brow product that actually matches my hair shade and doesn't look absolutely ridiculous. So, I'm just taking the Precision, the Precisely My Brow Pencil um, in the shade 1 and just doing light strokes throughout my brows. It is very light this one, but I just use it as a kind of little bit of a filler. Add a little shape before I go in with the Gimme Brow. And as you can see, I'm not a brow expert. Just with this, they have given me quite a lot of colour, even though to start with it didn't look like it was really doing anything. And then on top of that, I just like to use the Benefit Gimme Brow, which is a tinted brow gel, which sets them in place and also adds a little bit of colour to them. My brows, because they are something I've only recently started doing, take me forever compared to the rest of my makeup. So once they are done, we are going to go on mascara and then lips and we are finished. So the mascara that I'm using is the Last Sent Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. I can't speak today. Um, and I just put that on the top and bottom lashes. I always make sure that I get right into the root with me having such fair lashes. And I put on like a gazillion coats, so we may be here a while. <laughs> Also when I put mascara on, I like lean to the mirror, I normally have a mirror like here. So it is quite difficult with it being quite far away, which is why I'm leaning forward a little bit. So that is lashes done. I will probably do another couple of coats once I come off camera because we may be here a while if I do what I normally do. So I take a black eyeliner pencil. This is just one that I got from Avon years ago and it's still going strong. I should probably get a new one, but any black eyeliner will do and I do the my lower waterline or my waterline and then just around my eyes as well being careful not to pull out my contact lens because I have done that before Is lips and I know that the lip colour from last year has not changed it is the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in the shade 07 it is a lovely burgundy red colour and I just think it screams fall and Christmas and I love it so I would normally go for a lip liner with it but I can't find it and it's that good of a lipstick we don't really need one So that is the finished makeup look. I hope you liked it. If there's any other little makeup tutorials you would like me to do, just leave them down below and I'll be sure to fill them for you. Um, also, if you do recreate this look, be sure to tag me in Twitter. I will leave all my links and everything down here somewhere so you can find me because um, I'd love to see what you do with it and how you put your little spin on it. Um, but. That's it from me today. Um, I would love it if you could subscribe, like, comment, follow me everywhere. You know the drill. Um, and I will see you very, very soon on Thursday, hopefully, with a brand new video. And I will see you all later. Bye!